Alright, update for Solana. So in this video, I'm going to give you my short term analysis like I normally do, but then I'm going to give you a long term perspective and I'm going to offer two different opinions, two different scenarios, and I'm going to show you a case for the bulls on this chart. And then I'm going to show you a case for the bears on this chart using the high Kanashi candles. Now, Let's jump into the short term analysis. Nothing crazy has changed, so we'll get this done pretty quick. You can see from low to high, previously I've talked about this for the past couple of months, really. I mean, I've been talking about this since we were down here in January. The 112, $112 618 Fibonacci retracement level. This is the most important level for Solana. You can see we've had a hard time getting above it. We, we crashed into it once, twice. The third time we got above it, we had a huge rally, but we didn't manage to hold it as support. So once again, if we look at what's going on today, we are having a slight rally. It's probably, uh, let's keep it on this one. We are seeing a rally on the daily and we're coming up to right up to 112. Now, I don't think we are going to have any turbulence until we do hit 112. So I think at least another 5% move is on the table for Solana. Now, that is basically it. I mean, the 618 Fib here, while we're below it, price is going to be magnetized to it. This 112 is super important to get above. Once we get above 112, my price target is very simply the 200 day moving average. Uh, I wouldn't be targeting any fibs at this point. I love how we've drawn this fib from low to high. We've come back, back tested the 618 Fibonacci. We fell for it a little bit. Like um, I said in my videos, I think we would be bottoming between $112 and $100. Uh, we actually came down and found a bottom at $95. So, you know, I was $5 off on that one. I thought we were going to be bottoming between $112 and $100. Is what it is. We slipped a little bit below it, but we are now heading back up. We're up about 4.5% on the day, uh, and we are having a bullish engulfing candle right now looking very nice. So I think the move up to $112 is very underway. We look at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is getting continuation. We had a fake out of this asymmetrical triangle. A fake out in one direction leads to a large move in the other. As you can see, we faked out to the downside. Now we're having this big push up to the uh, to the upside. So price target of this asymmetrical triangle is this candle right here. And if we layer it, you can see this pulls us up to 42,500. So Bitcoin still has another thousand dollars to go that is another 2.5 percent for bitcoin to go up i think solana is very much going to continue pushing now before i talk about the macro bull versus bear case uh we've got to check out the soul btc pair so looking at soul btc we've bottomed at the 618 pushed up and now we're above the 0.5 so we're looking exceptional right now in my opinion in the macro term we came all the way down to the 618 fibonacci had a big impulse we had a correction and as you can see right here your 0.5 fibonacci we've had a perfect retest of the 0.5 i mean look at this wick down here we literally came down tagged it and we're off to the races so i'm loving what we're seeing here with solana priced against bitcoin i think not only is solana extremely bullish against the us dollar uh, but against bitcoin i mean it is tearing faces i think this is going to heavily continue to outperform bitcoin the all-time high is still a very very long way away and this is solana priced against bitcoin so this means even if bitcoin's moving up even if bitcoin goes up another 50 percent solana could potentially come up 85 percent priced against bitcoin which would mean well i mean that could mean that solana's at 200 250 dollars if bitcoin only moves up a tiny bit if bitcoin moves up a lot then you know this could entail like a 300 dollar solana uh, by the time we move up 85 percent so i'm loving what we're seeing i love how solana and bitcoin are moving up in tandem but solana is just slightly outperforming bitcoin on the mfi we've had a higher low rsi higher low I have nothing really to say on this apart from I'm extremely bullish and I do see after we take out the 200 day up here we're really not too far away uh, from it I'd say another 16% pump on Solana against Bitcoin and we would be off to the races so let's get into the proper uh, proper video that I've got for you today and that is Solana the bulls versus the bears so we're going to talk about the bearish case and then we're going to talk about the bullish case. So starting off with the bearish case, let's focus on the Heiken Ashi candles. And even on the bearish case, there's bullish signals. So in my opinion, I think the bullish case is much more likely and is much more valid. And also with the bearish case, it's 50-50 anyway. So I think we are very bullish. Nonetheless, I want to give you these two alternate scenarios. So 
looking at the Hikonashis, I cover these all the time in my Solana videos, maybe once a week. If you've been subbed to me for more than a couple of weeks, you know that I sometimes go off and make uh, a ton of Hikonashi videos on the macro timescale for these. So why do I use Hikonashis? Well, there's one sim super simple reason. When we have uptrends, they're better defined by Hikonashis. When we have downtrends, they're better defined by Hikonashis. You can see we have this uptrend, sea of green, downtrend, sea of red. And the only green candles that we see in these one, two, three, and four places, these are doji candles, which by the way, we do not count when we're doing Hikonashi analysis. So if you see a downtrend and then you see a green Hikonashi candle, uh, not a green Hikonashi, a green, Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. It's like the, the spinning top, a, a green doji candle. If you see a green doji candle like this, you just discount it. And on the same side, if you see an uptrend and you see a red doji candle, you just ignore it. So that is the basics of how I trade Hikonashi's. You can see we've got a sea of green and an uptrend, sea of red and a downtrend. As soon as we switch over to green, just like we did here, huge uptrend ensues. Once again, you can see two red candles here. What are these? These are these type of candles so we do not count these uh when we are doing our analysis whether they're in an uptrend or in a downtrend and as you can see uh we've got two of these right now uh it or two of these that were in this uptrend so we don't count these uh, uh these types of candles at all we don't count these doji candles so doji and then i'll just cross it out so you know that we don't we don't uh, consider that to be uh, a valid point when we are looking at Hikonashis. And as you can see, again, sea of red during this downtrend that only recently turned green. What do you see here? Two doji candles. We discount them. And if you did discount them and just imagine they were a red candlestick, we would have continued with the downtrend all the way down to $78. Now, I highlighted this before. And I have to cover this again because we have flipped bearish on this. And this is the case for the bears. The Hikonashis are never wrong on Solana. When we enter uptrends, they're green. When we enter downtrends, they're red. Uptrend green, downtrend red. We have put in one weekly close on the Hikonashi as bearish. And we have opened up our second weekly close. And on the weekly, we do have a ways to go. We need to push above $110. Otherwise, this will be unfortunately red. So... We need to see lots of continuation coming in in this week for Solana is what I'm saying. This is your case for the bears. The Hikonashis are saying that we've topped out and we are going to enter a downtrend probably to backtest the lows at approximately $72. I do not think that's what's going to happen. Nonetheless, I cover Hikonashis on Solana all the time. I covered Hikonashis when we were bearish. I told you once these flip bullish, I'd be entering a trade. We flip bullish on the Hikonashi, so I told you I'm entering down here at $80. And since then, I've been talking about how we're looking bullish on these Hikonashi candles. So I can't just stop covering these. I can't like not talk about the fact that these have turned bearish because then I wouldn't be doing my subscribers a, a, any service because then I would have just been picking the uh, cherry picking the data. And as you know, if you do watch my channel, I am a big fan of Solana. I hold 33% of my portfolio in Solana. I have Solana NFTs. So like I said, I do try and provide the most unbiased perspective as I possibly can. So when I use Hikonashis in bullish videos and then I see Hikonashis switch to bearish, I have to cover it, unfortunately. It's not what I like to talk about. Nonetheless, looking at the weekly squeeze momentum indicator, we have recently bottomed out in terms of the bearish momentum. What happened the last time we topped out in terms of bullish momentum? We were all the way up here at 224. You can see it topped out with dark green candles and we soon went from 224. We had a 66% decrease to the bottom. What's happened recently? We've put in this bottom and we've started putting in dark red candles, indicative that the bulls are about to take over of this uptrend. So these momentum shifts are very important. You can see once we shifted momentum to the bulls, we were all the way down here at $31. This is the last time we had a switch to the bullet uh, to the bull side. We were down here at 31 and we went up and did almost a 2x to 251. So even in the bearish scenario, looking at the Hikonashis, Solana is still extremely bullish, in my opinion, just basing this off the squeeze mom. Now, let's focus on the case for the bulls, which I do think is much more likely to play out. So let me get rid of this annoying writing on the side. 
as we're not going to be using Haikanashi, so we're not going to need that doji uh, thing there. So if we come over to the daily, look at these, you can see MFI, this is really all I want to talk about. I've already done the short term analysis uh, earlier on in this video. So the, the case for the bulls, we have recently bottomed on 20 on the MFI. The MFI is the money flow indicator. This shows how much money is flowing into the market when we go up and it shows how much money is flowing out of the market when we go down. And as you can imagine, when money flows out, there is less money in the space, meaning the market cap goes down, the price per coin goes down. We have recently bottomed. We've had a strong bounce since we have bottomed down here at 97 to 95 dollars. Now, where have we previously bottomed on the MFI? Well, we've bottomed here at 20, 21, we bottomed here at 15, we bottomed here at 26, we bottomed here at 20, um, 26 and 26 again and then nine and 26. So we've got a lot of bottoms at 20. We've got a couple bottoms between 15 and eight, and we've got a bunch of bottoms around the 26, 25, 28, 23, 24 region. So I would say the average bottom, if you added them all together and divided them by the amount of uh, bottoms that we have, I would say the average bottom is around 20 on the money flow indicator. We've just bottomed on 20 and we're starting to head up. You're seeing this big impulse coming in. You're seeing continuation on Bitcoin. So I have to assume the case for the bulls is more going to be in favor. It's going to play out. And not just because I'm a Solana bull, but because there's two scenarios here. There's the uh, case for the bears and there's the case for the bulls. The case for the bulls is 100% bullish. The case for the bears on this chart is 50% bearish. And we've got a huge, huge momentum indicator telling us that we are shifting on a macro scale to the upside. So I don't think these high are going to play out to the downside. Nonetheless, if they do play out and they start moving to the downside, we, we all better put some respect on the Haikanashi's name because they would have called every single uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend, uptrend, downtrend that Solana has done in the past couple of years. So that's all I wanted to share with you. Once again, case for the bears, case for the bulls. I think the case for the bulls is more believable. We've got more data. Uh, we have more signals and indicators saying that we're going to flip bullish for the bears. The only thing I can really pull together is this, you know, Haikanashi flip to the downside on the weekly. That is all I've got for you today. I still think Solana is incredibly bullish. If we come down to the lower time frame, Solana is having a nice rally. Uh, we're not seeing an increase in volume yet, but we are seeing a general pump. And on the daily EMA ribbons, we are firing back to the top of these. So we won't be flipping bearish as long as we stay around these levels. That's all I've got. I love the setup we're seeing on Solana right now, especially sold priced against Bitcoin. That's all I've got for you once again, not financial advice. Cowboy out. Peace.